if you only tune in to watch the world's best rowers once every four years, you might have had the idea that Canada is a rowing power. When a Maple Leaf clan contingent led by the likes of Marnie McBean and Kathleen Heddle won four golds and five medals in Barcelona in 1992, then followed it up with six medals in Atlanta four years later, the country was in the throes of a veritable rowing boom. And even in Beijing eight years ago, Canada rebounded from lean years in Sydney and Athens, won medal games, both, with four podium appearances. But Canada's high-performance director acknowledged it was high time for a reassessment of Canada's program Saturday. On the final day of the regatta at the stunning Olympic Rowing Lagoon, the national women's eight, silver medalists in London four years ago, finished in an unsurprising fifth. That meant Canada would decant the Southern Hemisphere with a grand total of one medal, silver in the lightweight women's double thanks to Patricia Obi and Lindsay Jenberg. It wasn't good. There's no hiding from that, said Peter Cookson, Rowing Canada's high-performance chief, speaking of the performance en masse. We really need to think about what we're going to do in terms of going forward to Tokyo, host city of the 2020 Olympics. There needs to be some real strong thought going forward. The women's eight put together what looked like a brilliant race plan given their underdog status. Canada led the field through 1,000 metres of the 2,000-metre race and was holding on to second place with 500 to go. Nobody was expecting to beat the juggernaut U.S. century, which won its second straight Olympic gold. But the hope was that Canada's front-running approach might dishearten a medal hopeful or two and open up a spot on the podium. On some days those people lose heart and you can cross the line, said crew member Lauren Wilkinson, one of just two or pullers in the eight to win silver in 2012. That's sport for you. There's never a guarantee of a medal, and I don't think it would be exciting to watch or be a part of it was. We can hold our heads high knowing that we raced against the best in the world, and that was our best race today. All of those words are true and admirable, and Wilkinson has the voice of experience to say them with credibility. But sport, too, has become a bottom-line business in Canada. Funding is doled out based on performance. And Rowing Canada, which has received more funding from Own the Podium in the past two quadrennials than any other sport, figures to meet a rude reckoning as a result of its Rio doldrums. They'll need to be accounting for the ill-fated decision to abandon the men's eight, an event in which Canada has won three golds and a silver in the past eight Olympics, in favor of a four and a quad that never found traction. The four finished sixth here. The quad finished eighth. But those who'd followed their progress in the years leading up to Rio weren't surprised. In the three previous world championships, the four finished no better than fourth. The quad never did better than a win in the B final, the domain of the world number seven. In other words, insiders saw this coming. We didn't have enough consistent performances, getting athletes on the podium through the entire quadrennial, Cookson acknowledged. And I think that's one thing that we failed. It's really tough to make that rise during the Olympic Games. We need to ensure that we're on that podium well early in the quadrennial. With results flagging, why wouldn't an organization change course to avoid an Olympic wreck? We thought about making changes during this quadrennial, a lot, in terms of that. But we also know that change is really difficult, and we needed to be consistent in terms of what we're trying to do, Cookson said. If you look at the history of all the boats that we've had in terms of performance, when we've gone from the eight to the small boats, there's been very few of those athletes who have actually been successful going on to the next Olympic Games, Derek Porter being the exception of course. In other words, Rowing Canada, in conjunction with Own the Podium, choose a strategy that had never really worked before. Porter's success as a single scholar after his days in the eight notwithstanding, and stuck with it for four long years even though it clearly wasn't yielding results. With the current CEO set to step down in a pre-Olympics decision, changes in the offing. Just like there's never a guarantee of a medal, Cookson acknowledged there are no sure things going forward. I would like to be back, Cookson said. Certainly I feel there's a lot of things that are not accomplished yet, in terms of where we go. We have some good athletes. And we have another big prop coming behind them. I'm determined, if I'm still in the position, to make sure they really are ready for Tokyo.